Hey folks, this is Javier Vlog 208 coming to you from the LGBT Center uh, called In Circle in uh, Provo, Utah. Uh, we, we, we are currently in a very uh, conservative um, state dominated by the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And I just am um, kind of focusing this blog on like um, understanding uh, what it's like, what life is like for LGBT people out in this town. So I have a friend here uh, who was willing to do an interview. What's your name? Um, my name's Adam. Adam, it's very nice to meet you. I'm Javier. Yeah. So um, I guess uh, what is life like? I guess for the average LGBT person in this town. I understand this town used to be known for like doing conversion therapy. I understand also recently the state of Utah recently recently just banned it which is a big deal for the state of Utah. So it's kind of a nice sign that, you know, things are changing. And um, what is life like for people around here who are, you know, gay, lesbian, bisexual, transgender, etc.? That's a big question. I think that for LGBTQ folks, there's a diverse range of experiences here. Yeah. Um, more and more, I'm really happy to say that we get folks who come to our house that know about in circle that are really excited about what we do here and their parents bring them here because you know they came out to their parents their parents are accepting they want them to find a community and find a place of support That's so good. they arrive here i think it's also pretty common for also people to encounter family yeah, friends yeah, school teachers uh, different people in their community who don't understand what it means to be queer and uh, that's a fairly common experience too. I understand that, like you know, the church. Are you a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter Day Saints? Um, maybe a one of them. That's an interesting question. Yeah. So I went to BYU. Oh, okay. okay. Undergrad. Yeah. Wow. Wow. That's interesting. Yeah. Um, I understand, like, the Mormon church's position is, like, you know, they want people who are gay to, like, remain single, right, live a celibate life. Um, what are your thoughts on that position of the Mormon church? It's like they claim that they're, like, accepting of LGBT people and they acknowledge that, you know, people have, what, quote, unquote, same-sex attraction. But again, they, like, kind of push the initiative to people that want to keep people single for their lives and or try to encourage them to marry somebody of the opposite sex. What are your thoughts on that? Well, you know, here at this Encircle Resource Center, you, regardless of faith, we're going to be able to help you with our services. So yes, when yes. people come in through the door, uh, we offer friendship circles, which are these groups where people at a similar life stage or particular life identity can come together and share their stories and uh, find support with one another. That's wonderful. Um, we offer programs like an art night and a music night, a writing workshop. We have a platform on Mondays specifically for folks to share queer stories of um, queer people here in Utah County, um, in Utah and beyond. And uh, we also offer subsidized therapy. So regardless of somebody's faith or where they're coming from, uh, we'll be able to meet them and find us some support and find some help. That's wonderful. I'm really happy to hear that. Uh, last question, I guess, before I wrap this up. What was your background going up here in Utah, coming out, and, and how was everyone's reaction, etc.? How you got involved in the circle? What, what was your background on all that? Yeah, I originally moved out to Utah to go to BYU, so I studied theater there. And as a part of that, I got involved with an organization called Understanding Sexuality, Gender, and Allyship. Ah, uh, yes, BYU. USGA. So, yes, USGA yes, at BYU. They meetings at the library every Thursday. That's right. I'm going to be going there tonight, actually. That's awesome. Yeah. I uh, helped organize that and helped uh, continue that group uh, while I was a student at BYU. And uh, that really got me involved in LGBTQ advocacy in Utah County, really s to be able to see the diverse experiences of queer folks here yeah, yeah. and um, have really enjoyed being a part of this community. And it's been a really very much a privilege to be witness to it, to serve it and um, to, to ultimately be a part of it, you know. So. I'm very happy. And what was your experience coming out to your to your family, I guess, if there were like devout, uh, devout uh, members of the church? Um, yeah, I won't go into too much detail about it, but right. you know, I think you want. it's mixed. It, it's always mixed, you know, coming, well, I won't say always because everyone, everybody's story is different, but for me, it was definitely a mix with different family members, different relatives. Some understood, some are still seeking to understand, and so it's been really important for me to be able to connect with friends and be able to connect with trusted uh, peers and um, mentors 
who do understand where I'm coming from and do support me and and accept me and, uh, and affirm me in my journey. So uh, it's been, and I think that's one of the really rewarding parts of the queer experience is, is being able to connect with your chosen family and find people that support you for you. I'm very happy to hear that. Wow. Well, thanks so much for the interview. It's yeah. been a uh, good talk. Your name one more time. Adam. Adam, nice to meet thanks you. Javier. Yeah. Thanks for watching, folks. This is Javier, Blog 208. I'll see you all later. Take care.